This is WCPO 9 News. Thank you for joining us. I'm Julie O'Neill. Here's a look at some of the day's top stories. Happening today, Cincinnati Councilmember Greg Landsman shares his plan to reduce violence in the city. He tells us his idea to develop safety plans tailored to each specific neighborhood. And he says part of today's announcement involves reestablishing a safe and clean fund. Funds could be used for things like cameras, signage, litter cleanup, crosswalks and sidewalks, help with blighted properties and more. A local lawmaker says he wants to create legislation to close a loophole which allows part of Land of Illusions Aqua Adventure Park to operate without state regulations. Republican Representative Thomas Hall of Madison Township told our partners at the Journal News he plans to meet with Butler County General Health District officials and state legislators about changes. This after 14-year-old Mikeara Jones, whom you just saw there, down, uh, drowned at the park last month while swimming without a life jacket. Right now, no state regulations exist to oversee recreation areas that are located on ponds. Happening today, a unique tribute to a Springdale police officer killed in the line of duty. End of Watch Ride to Remember will be visiting Springdale's police department to pay tribute to Officer Kaya Grant. The six motorcycle riders travel the country visiting departments of officers killed. Officer Grant was killed in March of 2020 when a pursuit ended in a crash on I-275. Jenna. Today's forecast will be sunny, comfortable, and not humid like Hello Monday. 78 will be your high today with a mostly sunny sky. Temperatures tonight fall back to the upper 50s in the city, the mid 50s outside of town, and tomorrow another gorgeous looking day at 81. Coming up though, I'll show you when the heat and humidity are making their triumphant return in the tri-state.